Okay, going up Ampersand Mountain. It's about a five and a half, six miles round trip. Uh, a little over about 1700 feet elevation gain, so it's a pretty good one. But, um, awesome day out. Kind of surprised to see the parking lot with a few cars in it. It's a weekday. It's off of prime season here. We're back at work, getting back to school. Sure, it's about 11 miles east of Tupper Lake. It's right off the main road here, so it's very easy to get to. Here's our sign. 1,775 feet elevation gain on this one. So it's pretty good, but it's mostly in the second half of this. Okay, starting off here. I smell this first uh, half is kind of like rolling through the woods. Pretty easy, nice warm up to the tough part later. Yeah, I get warmed up in the first 10 15 minutes. But yeah, just kind of gently rolling through the woods here. Some easy ups and downs. A long boardwalk here. About three quarters of a mile in. Careful over so many swampy parts. The trail supports will bounce in the water, splash mud up all over you. Oh, this is nice. I've been up here a few times this year. May, June, I think once in July, but a few trees down across the trail. Looks like they've cut them out of the way since I've been here last. Okay, we've had a little uh, little bit of elevation gain so far, just not much, but I know after this stream crossing, when I see these uh, little step work up here in the trail, this is uh, when we start to get some more uh, consistent elevation gain here. But not the seat part yet. Okay, a minute ago that was not spot I meant uh, this is the spot at 1.1 miles in close to the old uh, caretaker's cabin site. It's not there anymore, but it's a big uh, rock there. Good little spot for rest. So some older growth trees here. Pretty decently sized. Yep, here we are. Side of the old caretaker's cabin. A 
39 minutes in, 1.7 miles. Got about a mile to go, and it's this next mile, it's the fun part. Good spot for a little break right here. You drink and get ready for this next part. That's my water with my liquid IV in it. You gotta keep the electrolytes up, not just water, otherwise you can get some cramps. So try and avoid that. Alright. Oh, wow, four minutes already. Okay, we better get going. Okay, here we are about two miles in now. About a quarter mile past that caretaker's cabin. And this is about where the real steep part begins. They didn't cut down all the trees that fell. Not doing too bad. <sighs> Breathing hard enough, but I expect it. We had a little break, but don't get too excited. So this flat section only lasts about uh, 30 feet. And we are right back up the Clemens Trail. <laughs> Can't get to the top of a mountain without going up, can you? Love the challenge. Up, up we go. Till we get to the shark here. Funny, somebody took a little bit of white paint and did that. It's the perfect rock formation for it, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't generally be 
painting the rocks and everything. Yep, still going. This part takes a little while. It's not exactly a flat. <clears throat> not exactly a flat trail here. Rambling up this park. I'm going to make sure my foot ain't in this park. Too much to catch myself with my split. Okay, the main steep part is done and try to get a little more mellow past uh, 50 yards or so. Here we are near the summit, which is not up there. That's some cool little scrambling up there. Okay, here's a trail that goes through this swamp, but lately the past few years there's been a side trail around it, <clears throat> which seems to be the main trail now. You can tell that from all the uh, erosion over the roots and nice little stump cut off back there. This one doesn't fall on us over here. This spot right here is the crux of the hike, I guess you could call it. One spot where you gotta climb up through here. Just 
came across one couple on their way down they, didn't, they made it to this spot but had a dog with them kind of good sized dog they didn't feel comfortable bringing up through here so I had to tell them they just missed the summit there's always been an obviously well used <coughs> way over here I'll give this a shot today. So it's actually easier than the way I've always done. It's actually a decent bit easier than. Climbing up through there, which is the way I've always gone. Which isn't super challenging. Uh, if you're in decent shape, you can make it up there fairly easily. Go right through here, and then uh, we'll see the last climb for the summit. Final summit push up these. One comp cliffs, but we'll scramble up here. Let's find your footing, some hand holds. It's not too difficult, rock's pretty grippy. Hello. reasons I hike up here. Great views on a day like this. All right, take a little break. Uh, and my watch is showing three miles. Uh, I own 42 minutes. Not too bad. I wasn't trying to rush up here. But yeah, I'm gonna relax for a little bit and enjoy the scenery for a few. Time for a break. This is what I do before work sometimes. Hike up a mountain like this, get some exercise, enjoy the day. It's also, not only good for your health, good for your mental and emotional state. Helps clear out your body, I think. Break from everything. Doesn't help every 
few days or something but yeah ampersand mountain right here this, this one been up plenty of times never gets old coming up here this is a just great views and just a great hike all together all right hour 50 minutes into this little adventure here gonna head on down now and uh catch up when we get back to the parking lot as i just got some good video all along the way up here all right back to the little caretaker's cabin spot here uh, two hours and 28 minutes into this hike so it's at 38 minutes to get from the summit back to here coming down it took me an hour to get from here to the summit so a lot quicker coming down Alrighty, back to the trail register. Awesome hike. 